Hi you guys, so it's been quite a while since I did my portable washer um, review or I did um, the first video. So today I'm doing an updated video on it because everyone's been messaging me and commenting on my video asking me to do an update and also asking me how is it holding up for me. So today that's the video, okay? Hey you guys, before we start, I do want to apologize that I am in my bathroom. So as soon as I turn on my light, my fan kicks on. So hopefully I'm not echoing and hopefully the sound is still okay for you guys. So you guys can still hear me explain stuff, okay? Okay, so you guys, I do have a lot of these products. However, I'm not sponsored by them, okay? Um, I just got a lot of those to see which um, one I like more and then next time I'll buy it. It was on a discount so I bought a lot of it. So um, if you guys haven't watched my old video, you guys should go watch it. Um, this is the updated video, okay? So since I moved here to my new place, I've been keeping my washer right here. It does not move anywhere. Um, it stays put up here. So what I do is over here on the side is where I plug in my washer and I have a little uh, hook in the back here that if the string is too long I will wrap it up over here and then plug this in over there to the wall however um, sometimes I don't even um, plug it in or I don't even unplug it because it's out of the way and it doesn't bother me if it's over here so however, before you guys start, make sure that this is hooked because there might be water coming out of it like this. Because I just did laundry this morning as well. So there'll be water in there or when you fill it up, water might just be coming right out this tube and you don't even know it because you think that it's up and it's not up. So there we go, I'll turn it back this way. So for that side, that's making sure this is hooked and then this is plugged in, okay? Now let me turn this this way. So if you guys have not watched my old video, I went over these buttons. Uh, if I pull it up a little bit closer. For spinning around, it's up to five minutes. To wash, it goes up to 10 minutes, okay? And then you can wash a few times if you feel like 10 minutes is not clean enough. This is where the water is, where you get the water, okay? The water inlet. So this comes with the washer. This is actually for when you're spinning your clothes, okay? There's a little cover inside too. However, we're not using that right now to wash, okay? Only to spin the clothes. So I'm gonna move that aside and this is what we need right now. So this side, the bigger side, if you guys can see, this bigger side goes into the faucet and this side goes up to where the water and lets up. So it goes right up here and then this, I'll hook it down here. So if I move this down, you can see where it's plugged in. Don't mind my dirty sink. Since I moved here, it's been like that. I'm not able to get the rustic the rusty part off so yeah so we'll just deal with what I have okay so let me move this let me see if I could zoom it in closer okay so I think this will be better sorry I keep coming behind my camera because I can't see if you guys are in focus or not so before I I'm gonna take this back off and then before I do that I'm going to put some clothing in here turn this forward as you guys can see, the minimum is right here, the max is right here. So don't go over the max, but you need a, mi a minimum amount of stuff in here. If I don't have a lot of stuff in here, I still fill up the water up to the minimum line just so um, it's at the minimum, okay? Well, it talks about minimum and maximum, it's for both clothes and water, okay? So don't exceed, don't exceed that. So I'm going to put one shirt, two shirt, one tank top, 
to tank top. A yoga pants. One jean. A pair of socks. Another shirt. And one more jean. So like I said, it could wash a lot. So right here, I'm not my I'm just uh, kind of pushing it down so you guys can see. So my max is right here, however. Um, I could still add a few more items in here. It just doesn't, I don't know if you guys could see, but then I am, I like to max it out because, um, that I just don't do my laundry every single day. So, um, so what I do, I try to use the max amount of it so it doesn't, um, I don't have to spend too much time doing laundry each time I'm doing laundry. So I want to show you guys this side. On this side, it's actually, um, I've been using it for a while, so a part of it chipped a little bit. So I have to hold it under the faucet or else it's going to, as soon as I turn the water on, it slides down, okay? So I usually use warm water. It's up to you what you want to use. You can look at what your, um, what your shirt or your clothes calls for i usually do all of my clothing together i don't have um, anything special so like anything brand uh, brand new or any kind of clothes that i need to save or treat um specially so i just decided to wash all of my clothes together i'm not even doing any special treatment because I don't wear clothes that are too high end, so I just wash everything together. And I'm just double checking to make sure my tube on the other side is up. So like I said, I'm watching the water rise. You could watch that with me. I don't know if you guys could see, but the water is going up. And maybe I will uh, fast forward the video a little bit so you guys don't have to be sitting here um, just watching my water fill up, okay? I'll be right back. So let me bring you guys closer to look at it so i am at my almost at my max and this is how my clothes is in here so i'm closing that up putting you guys back where i took you guys from so i am going to put in some detergent a whole load calls for um, a cup, right? However, since I'm doing my own laundry, I just do a little bit, like maybe half of it because I don't want to put too much detergent on my stuff because if a whole load is this whole cup, I don't want to put a whole cup in just my little load. So with that being said, after putting that on, I will turn my machine all the way up to number 10 and i let it go two rounds just because i like to wash my clothes for 20 minutes so since i'm washing this for 20 minutes i'll see you guys back in 20 minutes okay okay so you guys i am back i have this collapsible um bucket that i use the reason why i got a collapsible one was because i used to live with a bunch of roommates and i was limited on rooms on room to put my stuff but now i live all by myself so i i should just get a regular bucket but this one's not broken yet so i don't feel the need of getting um another one yet so i will just pop this one open like so to use in a bit i'm gonna move this for a second 
So I just turn my machine this way. I'm not using my, um, I'm not using my, um, my bucket yet. I'm just showing you guys that I use one. I have one to use, so here it is. I pour it right into this thing. You can even let it go down here. I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can see it, but this is how it looks. Sometimes uh, my OCD kicks in. I'll wash my clothes a lot of the time until the liquid is clear. And the other strap you guys see in here are just the, um, my other two that I was using earlier. So after this, I will do just a water uh, cycle to rinse out my stuff. I usually do that. You guys can wash your clothes however you guys like. This is just how I like to do it. So after that, I will tilt this a little bit on this side. On the side that has uh, this part, I will tilt it just so um, all of the excess water will come out. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I tilt this a little bit and after that I will put my hook back on, turn it back around and then like I said I do a water uh, session just to rinse it out and I'll put a little softener in there okay. So after I finish that round I'll show you guys how I spin my clothes. Okay, you guys, so I already rinsed out my clothes. Um, I already um, did that water rinse around that I was telling you guys about for 10 minutes. So now I uh, I am using the bucket that I told you guys about now, okay? So I will put this right here. And what I do is I take out all of my wet clothes and I put it in here. I don't have a spot for it. I don't want to put it in the sink because uh, what happened is... I will be letting go of the liquid into the sink so I don't want this to get um, dirty with the liquid that I'm letting go of, the water. So I'll move this aside. Sometimes I'll put it down there or I'll just leave it somewhere where it's not in the way. So with the plain bucket first, I'll put it in here, hook it up, spin it a little bit and see how it does. So it spins nicely, okay? But now I turn it off, and then I put clothes in there. And like I said, I'm turning this back just so the liquid could uh, flow into the sink as I spin it to dry, okay? And like I said, I don't know a trick to this to keep it from not falling down, like for, from not shaking. But then what I found that worked is doing, like putting the bucket up first and then doing that. So here's a jean. Maybe I'll do one jean at a time. Depending on how I feel, I do one or two jean um, in the bucket. But today I'm just doing one. Let's close it. So you guys see how it works? It's not moving. The spin cycle is good. Like I said, I like um, I like doing it this way. I turn it this way so the liquid could come out into the sink. And what the trick is, put the bucket in there first. Don't put it in there and low close and then start, or don't load the clothes onto the bucket first. Always make sure you put the bucket in there first and then you spin it. So now it's at five minutes. And then uh, we'll see uh, once five minutes is done, see if I need to spin it another time or not. But we are on uh, spinning, okay? So right here, if you can see, spin is, the max is five minutes, and then now we are like at four minutes. It's going up to zero. And once again, the wash is zero to 10. This spot right here is just something extra that, um, that we don't use, okay? So you guys see how a lot of you guys are wondering why do uh, I do my laundry and it doesn't jump on me? 
for you guys you guys have to put books on top of it or you guys have to hold on to it no you guys do not have to hold on to it if you guys are holding on to it you guys are not doing it correctly okay this is like this like if you put it in one spot and it's kind of Are hooking it up wrong. So my jean is now stopped spinning. Let me see if it needs another round or not. And I usually just fill it to see how dry it is. So I don't think it needs another round because it's pretty dry. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's pretty dry to me. So I'm taking it off. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go finish drying my clothes. I have already did some uh, behind the um, screen already. But I am going to, um, in this video here, finish up my laundry. I usually just hang them up on the racks inside my, um, inside my bathroom and it dries pretty quick. So um, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for supporting this channel, for liking my videos. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And also hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single video from me. And I also want to say thank you guys so much for watching this particular video. My um, washer video had the most view out of my whole career, my whole time here in YouTube. So I'm very excited about that. I'm so excited to put out this new one. I hope that you guys will enjoy it too and that I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.